six hours later, floats got put on. Had a little problem today. When we pulled the tail wheel off, it was all busted out of there. So we just welded it back on. We had rags all around that would burn up and son of a gun, we didn't have any freaking fabric glue. It was soft, so it was all gun hard, so screw it. That's Tedlar tape. So lay laser ultralights used to use them. I think that'll work. Looks kind of cool. It's funky. It's modular looking. Anyway, we're gonna go take it for a fly. See how it works. There's a the camera. Okay folks, here we are. Beautiful Saturday, July 1st, 2011. Wasted the whole day putting floats on Dave's plane. Could have been out of the lake. But I'm not gonna rub it in. It was a gorgeous day. I mean, they don't get any better than this for float flying. But we'll see what we can do tomorrow. Anyways, this is his first test flight. Gonna see if the gear holds up. Put new bearings on the wheels, brakes, new plugs. About 170 yeah, hours on the old plugs. Ready to go here. Well, we'll see what happens here. Sounds like he's got his push to talk button keyed up. Good. I heard you. All right, I'm gonna get on the camera. And here it comes. Wheels are still holding up. Everything looks good. And there she goes. Oh, beautiful. Those aerial set floats, they look nice, work good in the rough water. But man, they're a bear to put on and they are a pain in the ass to maintain. You had more problems with those things. Looks like he's uh, still got the gear down there. All right, let's see if he comes back around. A little radio call. Yeah, Dave, that looked real good. How'd it feel? Ah, just plug us to fly again. Yeah, you'll get used to it. It'll come off real nice, so it looks good. Now. That's all fine. I'll try my gear. Okay. Yeah, when I get down, uh, coming down towards Danny's hangar, I'll cycle the gear a few times. Alrighty, I'm gonna be on the camera again here. Okay, here's Dave, he's coming by for a, a gear test. It's always a big unknown with these aero sets, whether the gear's gonna actually come down again after you pull them up. Yeah, when it comes down, and uh, cycle the gear, see how it works. And then after that, we'll try the more critical thing. <laughs> Will they go down and stay in lockdown? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, there they are. Gears up. Gears down. Gears down, yep. Yeah, look good. Cycled all right. Uh, are you coming in from the north? Yeah, I think so. There's so much. Is there much wind down there? Uh, you know what? When I was driving out in the golf cart, there was on my face a lot of wind, but it seems to have died right off here. There's a little bit, but it's definitely from the south, so yeah, you'd be better off coming in from the north. Okay, my gear is down and locked. I'm going to. Down. All right, he's going to come in over uh, over top of that little white trailer down there. Should be touching down eh, just in front of us, so get a good, pretty good camera shot here. And if the uh, 
If the wheels don't hold, we'll be sitting in the perfect position to see that too. We'll just get ready to tear out of the way in case that happens. Alright, here he comes. Looks good. Plenty high enough. Where is he going? Oh man. Oh yeah, and they held. Alright, not bad. We stopped for about a thousand feet. Kinda like that. Let's see if she'll turn around now. Yeah, that was a beautiful landing. Carson, you got aero sets. You want to make good landings every oh, single I time. Well, I can't believe they held. Six hours of labor was almost worth it all. Okay, folks, that's about it. Pretty well the end of a gorgeous day. We have another hour of sunlight here, but we're not going to be flying up to any lakes right now. Okay.